started working on the company in 2010 and launched in February 2011. Um, we're now, we've grown from just me when we started to 22 empl employees. I use that term very loosely, Brenda, um, because all of, all of my employees are offshore and abroad. We have employees from five continents. Um, there's me plus 21 others. I have a graphic designer full-time, I have a full-time project manager, a full-time internet marketing team of 15, and a full-time web development team of four. So uh, we're not just a fly-by-night company. A lot of people in the web development, web design, internet marketing space are brand new. They haven't really done much. They're one-man shop, two-man shop. So handling big jobs, handling a lot of clients at one time can become uh, you know, very, very stressful for them. Whereas with us, uh, I have a team that we can scale from small projects to large projects very quickly and very easily. So not a fly-by-night company. Um, we, uh, I, think, I think we do a very good job with web design and web development, and that's typically where a lot of our relationships start with our clients, is helping them get a good web presence, that cornerstone with their website, and then get them going from there. Um, we do web design, web development, reputation, marketing, social media, uh, marketing, uh, SEO campaign, which is optimizing a website to appear in search rankings, local SEO, which is getting your local online directories to appear in search rankings, um, and I do a fair amount of consulting. It's one of the ways I add a lot of value to the relationships. One of my core values of selling is to always lead with value. So I always look for ways that I can add value to somebody before I even ask for a sale or ask for business for, with them. Uh, just one of the core principles that I, I kind of operate with. Um, so I'm going to just ask you this question. You've got three services, service A, service B, and service C. Okay. Uh, service A has four good reviews, two bad reviews. Service B has no reviews. And service C has six five-star reviews. Uh, which one would you choose to buy? <laughs> right, it's really simple, right? Um, I'm going to give you a couple of quick marketing game changers. I may not be able to get through all four that I have here because I want to show you something at the end here. But I'm going to give you a couple of marketing game changers that have happened in the last two to three years. Huge, huge game changers when it comes to building your business online. Number one, 80 million Google Plus pages merge with company websites, okay, and reveals your company reputation to your customers, okay? Google Plus just merged all the websites and all their 80 million plus pages, move them into one, one result, and it shows your, your, your review rating right there on page one when you Google the company's name plus, plus the city. That is major. Your reputation is front and center in everything that happens online about your company. And that just happened in the last two years. Marketing game changer number two, businesses have, must have reviews to compete online. Why? Well, because reviews are a major part of search marketing. They appear in Google Maps. They appear in social media. They appear in local directories. Your reviews appear in SEO rankings and affect your SEO rankings. And they appear in pay-per-click. Your reviews as a company are front and center in just about every corner of the web when it comes to people searching for businesses or searching for your company name directly. Marketing game changer number three. Okay, and this is one of the ways that we, we really differentiate at Think Big Digital Marketing. You, I'm, how many of you guys get calls from SEO companies and web design companies and emails and just, like, you get bombarded, don't you? Yeah. And everyone's selling SEO, 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 web design, mobile websites, social media, you got to do all this. And that's what they push, and that's what they sell, and that's what they come at you with. And yet, they're doing it completely backwards. That's the old way of doing things. But if you're not monitoring your reputation, if you have a bad review, if you don't have any good, any good reviews, we saw the three there, one of the choices was someone with no reviews, right? Nothing bad about them, but no reviews out there. We still picked them on the five, uh, the five star reviews. But the game changer was that we used to just do the SEO, get the website ranking, uh, do the social media, get the online presence pushing forward, and then worry about our reputation later after we were appearing in the search rankings. Okay? We have completely flipped that on the head, and I tell my customers and clients now, you've got to lead with reputation uh, first, because if you optimize a website, if you optimize a company's online presence, and they don't have reviews, or worse, they have bad reviews, I just made your, your situation worse. Because now more people are going to see your lack of reputation, or more people are going to see the bad reviews that are out there. Okay, All these marketing companies, guys, are pushing SEO, 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 local search, social media, build your online presence, and they're completely ignoring
ignoring the, the, the you know the, the five thousand pound gorilla in the room, which is the fact that reputation and your star rating now appear everywhere online, and they also appear in your mobile phone searches. Um, okay, so um, buyers trust reviews. That's the other game changer. I'm gonna quick. I'm gonna get through this one quickly. But 72 percent of buyers trust reviews as much as personal recommendations. Um, this was huge. I saw this. This came out last year. Um, look at that. Number two, 70% of consumer opinions posted online are trusted completely or somewhat by, by consumers. 70% of people say they trust pe what people say about you online as much as a referral. Uh, it's a huge, huge shift in marketing that people are now going online even before they even go to your branded website. They're going to go online, read reviews before they even go to your company website. Okay, That's a huge marketing shift. Uh, I'm going to quick go to this. Um, after being referred to business, what do you do next? Okay, well, look at 52% of people surveyed said they look for online reviews and ratings. And I bet when we ask for raising hands right now, we all say probably pretty much the same thing. When we're referred to business, the next thing we do is go type their name in and look and see what's out there. What's their website look like? What are the reviews like? What are other people saying about them? We look for conversations and then we make a decision to move on or do a little bit more research. So with that being said, what does a Google search look like? When somebody types in your company name, what happens? Think big digital marketing. Look at what happens when somebody just types in my company name. Number one, the size of page result, my star rating, all my reviews. Then there's my LinkedIn page, my Google Plus pages, and then look, videos that we put up there about our, our company. And I want to show you one of these new videos that we're creating. We have worked thousands of hours to give our customers the very best. We've just received some great feedback from our customer and we wanted to share it with the world. This is one of our favorite reviews that we've been given. We love hearing we're doing a great job as we work very hard for all of our customers, providing the best service possible and listening carefully to their customer needs. So let us put our thousands of hours of knowledge and experience and five-star customer service to work for you today and find out how we earn great reviews like this one from one of our happy customers. We hope you enjoy our small section of the internet today. We look forward to talking to you. All right, so I'm going to give you one time off today. I'm going to close out. Um, if anybody wants one of these review commercial videos, okay, um, we are going to be charging $1,250 to produce these. We've got